be honest and tell me who remembers my passionate story almost, almost like a fairy tale about very delicious artichoke that I was trying first to grill it on the grill and then because it, we didn't have enough time I decided to go ahead and finish our barbecue we were doing barbecue um, and then after we finished our barbecue I put my artichoke on the grill and forgot about it two days almost not almost exactly two days after two days I took out the artichoke and probably the best thing I've ever tasted in my whole entire life no honestly it was really good if you like artichoke you will love this dish and I, I want to make it today because we having a pizza night every night just as usual well at least once a week we try to use our wood fire uh, oven just because we want to use it and the pizza comes out so delicious and since we're firing it or we're starting the oven rather um, I decided to make my beautiful purple and I haven't seen purple artichokes the ones I made before before this one the fairy tale one were purple as well but I don't think it's the color that made that taste so magically delicious I just think um, the way it cooked turned it out so beautiful tender flavorful I'm making it today and I will probably show you another thing besides that magical dish with artichoke another thing I make it's a lifesaver time saver um, health saver it's a garlic dip or garlic spread you may call but it's also something I'd use in almost all my dishes it's so easy to make and probably this time instead of regular uh, garlic powder or regular garlic I'll use uh, exactly that spread not exactly specifically that garlic spread that I'm gonna make and show you so yeah you'll have a lot of delicious uh, ideas in your um, in your head and let's see what happens and my camera guy also known as my husband is having this his uh, evening walk so I'm filming all by myself all the hard work is on my weak shoulders I was trying to translate from other languages other languages well I speak I speak a few languages I only speak Armenian that's my mother language I speak Russian I try speaking uh, English and I also used to speak French I mean I graduated university French language studied that language five years and came to America yes that was a little uh, part of my life story I'll wait for my husband to be back and we'll we'll go from there let's get started we need magic bullet or nutri bullet we need a bullet that can turn your garlic into spread or processor maybe why not so I'm not gonna give you a recipe for this it's just a good amount of garlic let's say four or five big cloves uh, first you wet it in warm water leave it a day I mean what uh, you can wet at night and do it in the morning or uh, at least a couple of hours so you can clean it and don't buy already cleaned garlic please it's terrible how can someone use already cleaned and they even don't have the proper garlic smell Irina, how do you know if you never bought it I smelled it in the store <laughs> Yes, I go to stores and smell different garlic things. Anyway, the garlic, a little bit of olive oil. I should say two, three cloves of garlic. I'll add quarter cup of good extra virgin olive oil. Um, be generous when buying olive oil. It's like a lifesaver with garlic. Also, Celtic salt or any salt you prefer I don't know how much probably two teaspoonful for this amount 
it's not gonna decide uh, the main taste because I'm basically using this in my soups, different saute dishes, anything and everything. So you will still be adding extra garlic to your dish. So don't over salt this. And you might think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add, add other ingredients and I'm not. Just black pepper. Half a teaspoon and preferably freshly ground or grind it freshly. Help me in the comments. I'm so used to cooking on my heels. Now I'm barefoot and standing on my heels. That's ridiculous. Get this thing, cover it, and process until it's smooth and silky. And that's it, you're done with the spread. This is our final product, look. It's creamy and if you're a garlic fanatic, you can even spread it on your bread, drizzle with, I don't know, please slices avocado, some fish, I don't know, your imagination, your preferences, food preferences. It's, I call it time saver because I don't like cleaning garlic and every, but I use garlic a lot. And every time I have to clean garlic, I remember, oh, I forgot to make this time saver, life saver thing, so. Finally, I made it and I'm gonna use it, use it with my purple artichoke. If anybody knows if there is a difference between purple and green artichoke, please let us know. We want to know everything about artichokes. Mm -hmm. It's ready and you can place it in a glass jar or any, any glass container because if you put in plastic, that container will basically absorb all the garlic flavor and you will end up um, losing your plastic container or devoting it its whole life to garlic yeah this is ready let me put it aside and i'm gonna first wash my artichoke clean it and show you what kind of dressing i would probably make this time because last time i didn't make it this way Probably everyone knows how to clean artichoke, but just in case you don't, you're on the right channel. This is the channel that shows how to clean artichoke the proper, <laughs> the proper way. You remove this top side because there is basically nothing here. No life. Okay. And also you want to remove this side, the, uh, these leaves, because they have nothing. No meat, no, no life. Mm -hmm. and in this case because i think the stems are the best part one of the best after heart comes the stem but since it looks very not um, not good I'll, I'll tip it and the same this oh no i didn't finish excuse me this is not the right channel <laughs> i think you're on the wrong channel and you also want to cut all these useless or non uh, you non edible parts like the tips first they very spiky they can hurt you and you don't want to get hurt and I'm gonna remove this one this doesn't have anything in it and you basically go ahead and remove all the spikes by slicing them don't don't over uh, don't over exaggerate by uh, slicing don't remove the meat because artichokes like getting all kind of rusty <laughs> although this isn't gonna change anything uh, too much eventually they'll turn different color and uh, taste wise it's not different you can rub it with lemon it's not important you don't even want to bother with that but just in case you're thinking you're on the channel that shows everything about artichokes I'll show you and also choosing an artichoke make sure it's really 
first of all it's heavy and when you touch it it's I mean squeeze it it squeaks this one is well isn't squeaking but because I just washed it and it doesn't like squeak squeaking okay you don't like squeaking don't squeak I was talking to artichoke okay. same thing with this creature I said it, but I still want to do it. It's just in my blood. <laughs> Taking care of artichoke. <laughs> now, I don't have any idea how am I gonna um, place like seasoning or my dressing into artichoke. You know, you can always uh, enjoy your artichoke with your favorite dips. There are tons of, or maybe hundreds of different dips you would prefer. But I want to try making it like the way you don't have to dip it in something and last time that I ate, remember I was telling before, it was like all by its own, tasty, delicious, you didn't want to add anything. So I want to, I have that goal right now to make it as good as last time, even better. So I'm thinking because grapefruits are also citrus, uh, underestimated probably when making certain things. I think I'll use grapefruit, but first I want to salt this beauty. And because I don't know how to hold it properly, let's see. Yes, it's a perfect holder. First, I'll salt it. Let's see what happens. As much as possible, you want to open up the leaves or the, um, how would you call these things? these things just as you said and black pepper and I'll be drizzling this with olive oil and try to massage all the citrus and olive oil into as deep as possible I mean you can even use your hands it's pretty easy it, it opens up very beautifully and you know this part is unedible but I didn't remove it last time I'm not gonna remove it this time either it just cooked and removed itself like so easily so I added salt pepper I'll add some olive oil drizzle it try to go in between all the stems mm -hmm. and massage it like this it will eventually go down entire grapefruit juice half of the grapefruit and open it up oops it's okay it happens everything happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and remove the seeds if they go in there mm -hmm. i think this is gonna be so delicious and garlic i almost forgot the garlic garlic you know i won't be shy I'll scrape this. Okay. I don't want it too much, too garlicky. Oh yeah. You can basically go with your fingers and massage it in. Huh? I had no idea. You live, you learn. Mm -hmm. Very independent artichoke. It doesn't need, need any sauce or any other help from sauces <laughs> it's called independent artichoke mm -hmm. this is ready actually i'm gonna leave this to marinate <laughs> while i'm making the other one and it's a good idea to rub it on the stem too okay oh so much juice it's dripping mm, this is gonna be so delicious it's a dish we're making up as we as we go I mean, it's not a dish, it's, it's artichoke with an individual approach to each and every petal. Although when you mm, drizzle it from the top or juice it, it goes everywhere, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. A light massage or squeeze. Alright, now we need to go fire the oven and see what happens next. It's very messy, I know, but I think the result will be well worth it. 
And this thing, you can uh, save it in your fridge for a month or even two months. But make sure if you're not using the whole thing, let's say you made a lot, freeze most of it and save some of it since you'll be taking it out very often. You don't want to uh, leave it in room temperature for too long so it doesn't get bad tasting. All right, I'll see you by the fire. Now, let's get these babies out to the oven. <laughs> Ajan? It's mm, quite windy. Why did we decide to make it, uh, make the pizza exactly on this windy day? Because in the morning it was such a beautiful weather. That's why. Master at his work. Artichokes are ready for the oven, but uh, we're gonna wait a few minutes. When you're making this on the grill, you just wait until your charcoal is ready and simply place on the rocks, no, not on the rack, um, how do you call that thing? On the grill! And grill it a few minutes, just allow them a few minutes to absorb that smoky flavor from charcoal. And then when you finish your barbecue process and whatever you're doing, you're gonna wrap them in uh, foil and forget on the charcoal. Grill closed. Two days. While that's getting ready, and it's so noisy here, it's like planes never stop flying. We're, we live close by airport, unfortunately, but it wasn't like this when we moved. I think they, they built another airport to honor <laughs> our uh, stay in this area. Here we go. I'll finish after this monster flies. And now I would like to share, I mean to show you my little teeny weeny garden. I have only a few things, but I have some space saved to plant more things. So here we go. Remember I was doing haul from Lowe's store. This is the pepper. I don't know if you can see. It has just one flower. But this one, I think it's a bell pepper. Like, or maybe Anaheim chili. This one has it, like a few peppers already. It's just a basil from Trader Joe's. I always buy in a pot and plant it later. And look at these eggplants, so, so cute. Let's hold them. Look, I think there is four of them. Anyway, this is eggplant. This is some kind of squash I don't remember. I have a few beets, beetroot. That one is, um, I think it's yellow squash. Here I have tomato, squash, uh, cucumbers, future cucumbers, some interesting cilantro, another tomato it's just starting to grow but this kale I had it from last year I bought it last spring and I've been using the leaves all year around such a great plant never gets old although at some point some bugs attacked my plant I was able to save it what did I spray I had I think cayenne garlic something i made very strong powerful <laughs> natural um, anti-bug spray and saved it although i removed all the leaves and left only this part and now it grows just perfect and so beautiful and so delicious another basil sage i had this tiny piece of sage that i simply put in the soil and it started to grow these are other tomatoes more tomatoes some onion scallions and this is another kale which was 
a part of this one I removed and replanted over there and it likes it it likes independence so yeah let's see if the fire is ready I don't think so hmm, it's closer I'm gonna wait the fire to calm down and then the beauties will head to the oven for probably 10 minutes just to absorb the oven taste and then I'll show you the rest probably it will be late at night and I'm gonna try it tomorrow because I'm intending to leave it all night although remember I was showing did I show you what I was making with yes I did our pizza night remember I had this beautiful delicious dish I showed you with uh, green uh, green beans mushrooms spices seasonings tomato sauce and all that delicious stuff I covered with foil and left it overnight in the oven in the morning I found the ashes of my uh, beans and whatever dish it was it was very painful but I survived I now I have experience what kind of fire should be uh, in order to leave something overnight it was too much because it the charcoal I mean the coils were still bright red like almost burning what was I thinking to put tiny whatever dish overnight and just go sleep like nothing will happen in the morning and it happened okay i'll go grab my pizza stuff our swim swimming boys are back from swimming class finally practicing hockey yeah. it's their love yeah we're team yeah we and like our back Practicing the like, passes. Okay, G gain some appetite. Yeah. Oh. Our pizza night has officially started. These are our customers. Pizza eaters. Oh, no, back. And they want. Yeah, it's bags, guys. The cheese one is for bag. He doesn't eat any other pizza. And I'm waiting until oh, they get yeah. very full so I can pop that artichoke for a few minutes. What artichoke? My artichoke. I'm making artichoke. I'm not done. It's enough, you yeah. think? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And pepperoni? I mean, well, it's pepperoni with uh, pineapples. Pizza. Please let me know if you're as um, slightly strange as my children. It's, it's a strange, strange combination to me. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. And because I use mostly uh, freshly milled whole wheat flour, uh, the dough is not that bubbly like you would have when you use, let's say, bread flour or all purpose or whatever other flour. Uh, freshly milled, milled flour is quite heavy and so delicious, so good for you, mm -hmm. I think. Enjoy, Armagjan. Oh, we'll ask his opinion. Aram, can I pop this in for 10 minutes? All I need is the charge from um, oven. A few minutes and I'll turn it a few times. Mm -hmm. Hi. Let's see how they look. I think they look perfect enough. Although the ones that I grilled and the grilled, they looked almost slightly burnt on the side. You don't want to burn them, of course. But they do need some char. Oh, so juicy. Okay, I'm gonna go get my foil. Wrap them first in parchment and then in the foil. And after we finish our feast, I'll pop it in the thing 
oven and forget about it for the night. Arnak Jan, not Gnas foil parchment paper base. Now let's see. Mm, perfect. But not as perfect as they can be. Tomorrow morning. Nice and cozy and safe. Okay, this will wait. We'll go ahead and finish our pizza night and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's wish good luck to these babies and send them. I'll probably leave it somewhere over here. Not too close because it's pretty nice and hot. I'll close it. One night later, oh, it's still nice and warm. I also ended up adding some potatoes with garlic and parmigiano, but that's for my Russian channel. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't burn, I think. I have a feeling. I made them bulletproof. Yes, they're alive let's see how tender they are oh they're perfect look it's just almost falling apart let's taste it mm. Mm. this is even better i would still squeeze some fresh lemon juice other than that salt garlic I want to try feeling the uh, grapefruit flavor or taste and it's not there but I, I hope it gives something to the artichoke I really hope so many airplanes it's delicious guys you should try it and it's not a recipe just go ahead and make it do it it's melting so delicious I'm gonna call it Lilith and enjoy it and you know you can grab a few at one time if you don't have too much time mm. amazing so yeah this was it i don't know how to call this video i really don't know how to make artichoke in wood fire oven it's not important just make it enjoy it most importantly be healthy happy and i'll see you soon Don't eat the choke inside. Look this part. Let me just open it up. This part. You don't want to eat it. And look how easy it comes out. Just look. If I had a spoon, I would do it with the spoon. I don't have anything with me right now. So yeah. Bye.